I founded the firm January 1st, 1984. I had been practicing law in Cobb County for about 13 years before that, and my business had grown in the areas of representing banks and commercial uh, lending and developers who were developing property together with uh, zoning and land use issues. So we started the firm on January the 1st, as I said, and it was me and a real estate paralegal and a legal assistant. We didn't have a line of credit. Uh, we just started out, and I told them about halfway through the month of January that uh, I hoped we'd have enough money to pay them for that month. Fortunately, we did, and we've gone on from there. The idea in forming the firm was to pattern the firm after uh, the big firms downtown, but on a smaller scale uh, and out in suburbia as opposed to downtown. The concept was what we called a, a wheel concept. That is, you took in a developer client, for example, and then the, the spokes of the wheel were all of the needs they would have, like zoning, uh, real estate closings, contracts, uh, litigation disputes, and so on and so forth. So that was the basis that we formed it, and I went out to attempt to attract uh, lawyers from downtown to fill the different roles that we needed in the firm. The first was tax. At that point in time, my clients were to a point that uh, we needed tax expertise or they were going to go downtown. So uh, we did that and we hired tax litigation primarily were the two first steps that we took. Uh, for example, when we hired Bill Johnson, who's one of the name partners here, he's one of the first ones that we hired. As a litigator, he was with an insurance defense firm downtown and came out here and he set up a lot of uh, barriers to coming here. This was back when real estate wasn't doing very well and he had a, a townhome over in Stone Mountain that he had to sell in order to move over here. And he didn't think that was going to happen, but it did. So uh, he came as one of the first ones that we had. And lo and behold, when, when he got here, um, the first month his wife called and told him that uh, our payroll check bounced. And I said, oh my goodness, what happened? And we found out that our accounting person had put the money in the wrong account. So he believed that part anyway. <laughs> and we moved on from there. And Robert Ingram, who was another litigation partner that we attracted, both of whom are still here, from down, another downtown uh, insurance defense firm. Uh, Robert w was uh, and is from Cobb County, and I knew his father very well. And I had interviewed Robert and worked on him, and I had gotten information that he may be going with another law firm, so I picked up the phone and called his dad <laughs> and told him, I tried to make it so it didn't seem like we were putting pressure on him, but I told his dad that he didn't need to go with that firm for sure, whether he came with us or not was not the big issue, but that he's making a mistake, and the next thing I know, I get a call from Robert saying he's accepted our offer. Then Steve Steele, who was the other named partner, came. He was a chief assistant district attorney at the time we hired him. He had been in private practice, uh, but had gone with the, the DA's office. And we had been farming out all of our domestic and uh, criminal work uh, because we weren't interested in handling it. The problem is that domestic and criminal lawyers don't respond like business attorneys do. Uh, they don't, they're known not to return phone calls or let you know what's going on. So I was getting the calls from the clients I had referred complaining about the communication issue. So I said, if we're going to get the complaints, might as well get the fees. So we hired Steve and he's still here as well. 